My name is Margot Okazawa Ray. I am a feminist. I consider myself a transnational feminist because I work, I'm based in the U.S., but I work in uh, uh, Northeast Asia, that is Japan, Korea, Okinawa, and I work in Palestine. Uh, so in those three locations, I'm able to connect the issues I most care about, which have to do with addressing questions of militarism, uh, military violence against uh, women in particular, uh, and the presence of U.S. bases, most especially in, in Asia and the U.S., and the, um, the impacts of that presence and really the bigger institution of militarism. My feminist journey uh, has, been quite, um, has been quite amazing. I'd like to share one concrete example uh, through the work of the network um, called the International Women's Network Against Militarism. The group consists of uh, people from uh, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Guam, Puerto Rico, uh, Philippines, and the U.S. And one of the things that came up very early on is this question of language. The English dominant people, of course, you know, get to rise up and speak more. And how can we have this network if there are going to be, for example, any inequality structural around language? So uh, one thing we did was we clearly stated in our work that um, language interpretation and language translation are political works. They're political projects. They're about power, uh, and they're about sort of e trying to equalize power among a group of people working transnationally or multilingually. And um, the second thing we did was uh, the interpreters in our groups from the different countries decided to get together and to come up with our networks uh, our own uh, feminist activist glossary. And each, from each language perspective, they discussed what were the key concepts in their own language they wanted to incorporate and not just use English concepts and translate or interpret them to every other language. The process of talking through the concept, then coming up with the closest equivalent. Right, uh, was transformative, I think, for the interpreters, as well as a process that um, enabled those in the room, and then later those of us who were using the glossary, to really think about language in a really different way and think about interpretation and translation in a very different way. That, for me, is one of the uh, wonderful feminist realities.